In this video, I'm going to be attempting one of the hardest Tough Mudder challenges in the world. This challenge consists of a 10 kilometer run with some extreme obstacles along the way. My name is Max Brown, and if you've been following me for a while, you'll probably know my nan, aka Jim Nan. My nan has suffered with dementia and Alzheimer's for the past six years, and this year, me and three of my friends, Rob and Brandon, who play for Warsaw RFC, have decided to take on this challenge to raise money for Dementia UK. This charity is very close to all three of our hearts, and we wanted to take on this challenge and give it our all. Now, let's get into the Tough Mother challenge. Right, so today is the day of the 10 kilometer Tough Mudder Challenge. Now, I'm pretty excited to be fair, but I'm also pretty nervous. I think it is going to be harder than I expect. But I've just got to get ready. We've got the Dementia UK t-shirt on, which honestly, thank you so much to all of you guys who donated. It's such a great cause, and it is a very close cause to me, Brandon, and Rob, who's doing it. And we have managed to raise around £5,000 for Dementia UK, which is absolutely mind-blowing. So thank you. I still haven't mastered the latte art, but it tastes good. <laughs> That's a bit tight. Should've got an XL, man. It's, I've stretched it so much. Good. You've done so much running? Yeah, I've done two 5K. <laughs> Big lads in the front. Uh, lads, are you gonna go? You can go without me, it's fine. <laughs> this is the course. Wow, that is longer than I thought, yeah. yeah no, Gustus Glue. Oh, what was that the name when I see you? Be excited, boys. I'm very excited. excited. I was struggling yeah. to sleep last I night. I actually am. Oh. Didn't know the preparation for it though, lads, have Yeah, loads. Yeah. Have you done anything? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> Oh my god, where are you? <laughs> We're doing it for three very special people close to our heart and Dementia UK. That's some very wise words. So boys, I'll see you on the course. Mate, this is so muddy and it's not even <laughs> really wet. Yeah, muddy and it's not even the start, this is just the entrance. look very clean right about now, I can guarantee you, of course, it's very muddy. But take your favourite hat and pull it in the mud, pull it in the mud. Touch the, the face of the person next to you very gently and say, I want to be with you. Ah. Give someone a muddy high five and say, I can't wait to see your dirty outfit. Woo. I cannot wait to see your dirty outfit, yeah. One, let's get it! Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Three, two, one, let's go! Give me those gun fingers! So once arriving, we warmed up and we were ready for the challenge to begin. And we are off. Starting the challenge with a short run into the first obstacle, which was Heroes Walls. This obstacle was two six foot walls that we needed to jump over, which was pretty easy. That was the first obstacle, boys. Yeah, okay, yeah. Twenty-one more to go. <laughs> first obstacle done. Not too bad. Little hop over the wall. Sure, I won't be saying this optimistic after another five. But straight away, we realised this was going to be much harder than we thought. The mud underfoot just made everything ten times harder. We then got to the second obstacle, which was called Bale Bonds, which consisted of seven hay bales that you needed to clear. <laughs> We then approached the skid marks, not in Rob's boxes. That was what the third obstacle was called, and that wasn't too bad as well. Max is getting cramped now. <laughs> oh, <it's> cramping. <laughs> now at this point, the bridge of my foot had started to cramp, which was definitely because of the mud and the uneven ground, but I kept pushing on. After what felt like running up and down endless hills, we approached the fourth obstacle, which was called... Try and hold this wood. In this obstacle, you had to carry a wooden log around a course and return it back to the pile, and then we got back on with the run. What's your thoughts so far? It's tough and it's muddy. We're probably about 3k in. This is very tough. The hills is what makes it the hardest. The incline on a lot of them hills is absolutely dreadful, but we're still pushing on. We then approached the fifth obstacle, which was called Widow's Peak. This was two peaks adjoined by a tightrope, and the mud was not helping with the grip. That's all good. You gonna smash it? Easy. The sixth obstacle on the course was called Birth Canal. We had to crawl under these tunnels, which I could only describe in this way. You know Borat when he goes into the... 
Elephant's ass. No, into the elephant's back. Like that. Coast is clear. That's the Brothers Grimsby. Yeah, oh, that's the one. That's the one. The seventh obstacle, Heroes Carry. So glad Rob's got me. Come on. Come on, big lad. <laughs> Yes, Rob. 103 kg. Powering through. Come on. Squatting as well. <laughs> after I thought my back had completely caved in after carrying Rob, we kept on pushing. So I think we're at the halfway. Stop now. Because there's some water here and it is much needed. What do you think so far? It's tough, but doing it for a great cause and we're going to smash it. Brandon. Tough, man. Just carrying on. Again, it done. A quick rehydration break and straight into the next obstacle. Oh. Which was called Augustus Glue. We had to go through a pool of water and up a ladder in a tunnel. Dead hand. Dead hand. Alright. And then climb back down the other side. Nice and steady boys. Easy. <laughs> Let's go. Now on to the ninth obstacle. Texas hold them. This obstacle you had to use a partner to try and hold each other's weight and make it across the rocking pyramid. Rob and Brandon. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't do it. But me and the stranger absolutely smashed it. Shout out to that guy. That's what the Tough Mud is all about. Helping each other, camaraderie, and having fun. He also told me that it's imperative that you guys subscribe to my channel. If I could ask you guys for anything else to help support me, it's just to go down and press that subscribe button. Thank you. I need like rocking music on now. Yeah. Little did we know, we were nowhere near done yet. Spirits were high and we pushed on to the next obstacle, the Block Nest Monster. We had to work as a team to roll the barrels and get over them through the freezing cold water. Straight after that, we went into the next obstacle, which was called Quagmire, which was just two mounds of mud and a little pool of water. Easy. After completing those two, we realized we still had a long way to go and we took the stairway to heaven into the next obstacle, which was the cage crawl. Come on, lad. On your back. Come on, keep going. Go lower. Come on, keep going. Nice. Boys, lovely, we're nearly done, we're nearly there. Let's finish. Nine kilometers done now, a quick rehydration and onto the next obstacle. At this point, we were all defeated, ready to finish, but we had the devil's beard to get through. Crawling through a very muddy, steep incline hill under a net was not fun when your legs are already felt so heavy. Nine k's in, I know you do that. Rob's really scared of this one. Been having nightmares about this since we signed up. Everest had been peaked and we were headed to the barbed wire crawl. Surely we had to be done soon, but no, we headed to the Arctic Anima. In the pyramid scheme, we literally had to climb up each other to reach the top and pull ourselves onto the top of the pyramid. Two more to go. Two more. Yes, go! Our legs were tired, my back was killing, and we really had to dig deep now. But we could smell the food and already taste that victory beer afterwards. Mudderhorn was complete and we headed on to the last obstacle. One more to go. So after three hours of non-stop graft, hard work, blisters, digging deep and pushing each other, we were nearly there. Just thinking of our family members that we were doing it for and anyone out there affected by dementia. And we were so happy that we raised over £5,000 for Dementia UK and the challenge was nearly at an end. So we headed for the last hurdle. One, go. Ah. Yes. Ah. Yes. 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 Boys. boys, absolutely smashed the 10 kilometer to my dad. So a massive thank you to all the donations. So from me and the 10 kilometer to my dad, I'll see you in the next video. Yes. Yes.